A group of family carers got together in Lambeth. They were all representatives on the Learning Disability Partnership Board and they were all parents of people with profound multiple learning disabilities or complex needs. They felt very strongly that there weren't enough activities for people with PMLD in and around the borough. Very little to do that was accessible, where people had the right kind of equipment and relaxed, comfortable surroundings. Right, welcome everybody. A couple of few places. National Mencap were involved and they wrote a report, the Lambeth PMLD report, and it highlighted all the areas of unmet need. After the report was written, I spoke to the families. Um, together we developed a plan to set up an activity project, particularly for people with PMLD. Saturday Stories is about making storytelling accessible to somebody with profound learning disabilities. It's absolutely essential that the, that the atmosphere of the group is relaxed, and welcoming. We take a lot of time to get to know the people and find out what will work for them as individuals. The venue is crucial and we found it really difficult to find many places in Lambeth that are fully accessible. We've got good partnership working with the council and the day centre managers have been happy to lend us the day centre for the weekend. We can spread ourselves around, we've got lots of space here, we've got changing rooms with hoists and slings. On a rainy wet winter day a lot of people want to go somewhere where they feel that they have a sense of belonging, where they can have personal care if they need it, where they can heat up a lunch if they need a soft diet, or be fed if they're tube fed, have somewhere safe and clean. I think there's a really lovely feel to it, that a nice atmosphere that we've created that's uh, it's hard to put your finger on exactly what makes that work, but I think it's the attention to detail and the flexible way that we run things. I know as a parent it can be very isolating for a worker to just do that one-to-one -one work with one person all the time. So here the workers get to network with each other as well. The staff have accommodated her very well. It's just like having a group of friends and, 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 and meeting every weekend. Any sort of project like this one with Lambeth Mencap, which is actually focusing purely and specifically on the needs of people with profound and multiple learning difficulties and, and very complex needs, I mean, that's a godsend. It's really crucial to have the right mix of people on the PMLD subgroup. We have health professionals, we have a PMLD lead from the care management team, we have representatives from the day centres and the managers there, and from different providers and the families. There's swapping ideas about resources and information and there is tangible results from that. Did everyone have a nice lunch? Yeah. 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 Okay, we're going to have our quiet music now. We're just going to sit and listen to this peaceful music. This is just the start for the Lambeth Mencap PMLD activity project. We have some new funding from Guys in St Thomas's charity and that will enable us to provide a whole range of activities. Okay, so the Crashing Rocks are coming over to Joanne. Part of my role in the next couple of years will be to work more in partnership with other departments of the council like parks and open spaces to look at developing things like a sensory walk in the park and to work with leisure centres in terms of making sure that their facilities are accessible. We will be continuing to work um, as a subgroup to reduce some of those barriers and hopefully have a better range of activities for people that are safe, comfortable and accessible. <laughs>